Okay, here we go. Hey, everybody, guess what? This is our last day. This is day five of five with our live streams with uh, Arteza Art Supplies. For those that, um, as a matter of fact, let me put the chat on for our YouTube friends and Facebook and Twitch. Hey, how's everybody doing? Hello, beautiful people. I agree, Tammy George. Everybody's beautiful. First of all, happy Cinco de Mayo. This is day five of five, and this has been such a pleasure. It's been such a learning for our for our team, for our company, too, to be able to sort of reach out to you like this. We've had such um, incredible outreach, the questions, the answers, the amount of engagement um, and the support and the love for what we're doing has, has really been um, such a pleasure. We'll, we'll probably have to like go back and think through this, but I have a feeling we'll figure out how to do this again. So uh, anyway, hey, I'm getting lots of highs and um, hearts. So um, so like I said, this is the, the last day and it's Cinco de Mayo. So uh, we decided to be a little creative today. First and foremost, we're gonna answer your questions. Uh, because we continue to get some really great ones. Um, but then also we thought we would stick with the theme and um, really talk about creativity and um, particularly as it relates to the holiday that we're going through, uh, that we're experiencing right now with Cinco de Mayo. So for those of you, I'm just going to give a little, a little preamble before we get into it. Uh, for those that don't know, here's some interesting facts about Cinco de Mayo, just a few. The fact is Cinco de Mayo is not Mexico's Independence Day, for those that did not know. Um, it's actually a celebration of uh, the Mexican army's battle. Um, they defeated the French, sorry, French friends, Francophiles, um, at the Battle of Puebla, and that was on uh, May 5th of 1862. Um, it's been a tradition for a long time. It's growing in popularity um, in, in America, uh, North America in particular, in the 60s and the 70s. It was uh, really became popular as a way of celebrating Mexican-Americans and um, um, just sort of like this, this symbolism of, of, uh, of revolution and um, creativity and individual rights. All of that was sort of celebrated. George Bush in 2005 uh, basically created a national holiday around it. Folks have sort of taken Cinco de Mayo around the world um, and really figuring out interesting ways to celebrate, uh, you know, not only the U.S., but, uh, you know, countries like Australia, South Africa and Japan apparently are really getting into it as well. Um, and so for us, you know, as a, uh, a home of creators and, and uh, community of creators like you all, it's like one of the things that, that really um, inspires us the most about Cinco de Mayo is the fact that it's celebrating strength and spirit um, and diversity. And um, so one of the things that we are hoping that you guys do is submit some of your thoughts to us on how Cinco de Mayo inspires you. Um, so what I'm gonna do actually, I'm going to go into presentation mode. And uh, so here's my little slide. Happy Cinco de Mayo and Instagram family. This time I actually do remember how to do this. Thanks to my daughter who uh, told me that I was technically challenged the other day. Um, but uh, anyway, there we go. So, so Cinco de Mayo, it's like, how are you celebrating your strength and spirit today? We really want to know. Like, we, we just love the idea. Um, and by the way, I'm going to show some amazing posts that just recently um, that you guys have been posting around Cinco de Mayo. Some of the, uh, the artwork has been incredible. Um, so look at this one, for example. I'm going to switch my screen again. Gretchen Riestra from San Juan, Puerto Rico. That is an amazing image of Frida. Um, also, um, Arteza official, our Arteza team um, actually created this, um, the middle uh, image there. They basically were painting rocks with, um, with our acrylic paint. And then actually, guess what? This was one of the winners. Um, I can't remember whether it was day five. I think it was uh, week five, I mean. Um, I think LSY, you actually won uh, one of our uh, contests, but uh, here is a, uh, you know, a very interesting sort of uh, theme of celebration around Cinco de Mayo that we love as well. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was actually go to our blog. Um, so big, big up to, uh, big props to Aubrey Santana. She actually came up with some decorating ideas for Cinco de Mayo. If you're having that party, hey, guess what? Fam, we can totally still have a party 
inside, even if you're doing a virtual party with your friends that could be all around the world. Get that margarita mix going. I'm going to get my red wine. I'm not a margarita person, but I'm still going to use Cinco de Mayo as a, uh, a fantastic excuse to get together with my friends and celebrate creativity. So uh, let me see. We're going to go back there. Okay. So anyway, make sure you guys check out on Artuza.com. We do have some very interesting um, ideas on how you can celebrate uh, with some arts and crafts, uh, with uh, chalkboard art, how you can make your own pinata, photo props, you can make your own maracas, you can personalize a guitar. By the way, I, um, maybe what I want to do is um, personalize my bongos. I don't know if you guys knew, but I actually have bongos and um, they could use some personalizing. So maybe I need some of that paint for that. Uh, but anyway, you guys get the, you get the gist. Um, this is some interesting tips and tricks from us um, on our Arteza blog. So with that, I'm actually going to now go into our Q&A. And again, these are questions that you guys have asked. And actually what I wanna do is make sure that I also am switching back and forth to the chat channel here to make sure that I'm not missing any good ones. Let's see. Hello, Annette. Hello, Eddie Webb, Kimba Williams, Micah Art, Jerry Brown. Hey, what's up? Kathy Gibbs. I know a Kathy Gibbs. Hi. And how are you guys all on the Instagram uh, channel? Doing well? Awesome. Okay, so let's get to the Q&As that you guys uh, submitted. Again, these were the most popular ones. If we don't get to the question that you all asked us, please make sure to continue to send them to our customer service team who's there for you 24-7. Uh, and uh, you guys have been keeping them busy too, by the way. You guys really like these types of uh, interactive live streams because uh, the swell of questions that have come as a result have been really great. We, we love it. Keep them coming. Um, okay, so here are some questions. By the way, there was a question from yesterday that I did not know the answer to, and that is there was a question from, a, um, um, from an Instagram um, Arteza family member who asked whether we were going to come out with our own Everblend um, brush tips for the markers. And thank you to Stephanie, our product tester. Ooh, ooh, I know you're watching. Um, she gave me the answer right at the end of the, uh, of the show. So I wanted to make sure that I gave you the answer. The answer is yes, we are going to have them. They have been tested, which means they're getting through our pipeline of approvals and they will be um, available on our site uh, pretty soon. Okay, so other questions. By the way, ooh, someone said they're obsessed with the real brush pens. Me too. I actually feel like I'm drawing with uh, with an actual paintbrush, even though it's pen. I have a, a lot more control with it, right? Um, Kathy is actually saying I have a lot of products and I love them all. We love that too. Uh, look, Steph, <laughs> Steph Hibbert's going woo woo. Hey, Steph. Um, okay, so when does the website usually get restocked? This question we got a lot, and as you can imagine, because it has been uh, such a busy time for us and an unanticipated, you know, extra amount of demand, if you can, uh, you know, really relate to that based on the pandemic, we definitely have had, you know, more than our fair share of out of stocks. And we just want to kind of come clean on that and, and uh, you know, say we apologize and we hope that you continue to, to hang in there with us. Um, we're getting supplies in as quickly as possible to restock those uh, you know, fast moving, popular products that you guys are all can't wait to get your hands on. Um, usually stock items are replenished within two to four weeks. Uh, but like we said, some of them have been taking longer. So again, we apologize. How do you enter the art contest at artizaofficial.com, crafty girl under Gorsady? <laughs> That's how you enter the art contest. Oh, thank you. Okay, we got some understanding from uh, uh, from a couple of the folks saying, yes, we understand why you may be a little back order, no fix. Okay, another question. Will you guys stock up on art supplies on your site? So the answer to that one is absolutely. Like we said, we definitely haven't experienced um, an increase in interest um, and an increase in the sales. Thank you very much for all of that. Um, and so again, like hang in there with us. Um, the, uh, you know, we're restocking as quickly as we can. Um, do you ship worldwide? And if not, are you planning to do so? So for now, we ship to the U.S. and we ship to many of uh, the European countries. 
Um, we're slowly trying to expand um, as much as we can. Um, and so for now, that's where we are. Um, with, if you're interested in getting more of the details when the specific countries uh, you know, that we supply to, just go to our website and we can give you a lot more of the detail on that. Okay, then there is a question. This one actually came up quite a bit too. Are your products non-toxic? And yes, the answer is all of our uh, products, tout le monde products are non-toxic and they are all certified by the American Society for Testing and Materials, that ASTM, you'll see that logo on all of our packaging. Um, so let's see, do I have any other questions? before I get to the little teaser here at the end. No, so I'm gonna to go to the channels here. I actually feel like Oprah when I go through these chat channels looking for questions. <laughs> oh, he says you can't see the images. And that, which images did you not see? Um, hit me back up and I'll see what I need to do. But hopefully you guys were able to, um, to see the uh, images that, um, that I shared from the presentation and if not, we will absolutely uh, post them on our stories and um, it should absolutely be a part of our Facebook Live video. I'm the Oprah of Arteza. <laughs> I like that. That is, I don't uh, wit you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Hola, Vicky Guerrera. Um, okay, so let's see, were there any other questions? When are you hoping oh, to offer open stock? So actually, we, we actually do have, uh, that's a great question, J. Michael Mahalan. We actually do have open stock um, on a few items and we're slowly starting to expand that. So the answer is yes, uh, we're, we're kind of doing a crawl, walk, run, um, but we absolutely um, are offering open stock on certain items. So make sure to look specifically for those products that you're most interested in. Um, Let's see, when you were talking, let's see, didn't see that. Looking, for, my daughter loves Arteza products. Any new children's art products in the pipeline? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, probably fourth quarter, um, we will be offering um, a number of new um, kids' products as well as kits. Um, stay tuned for more of those, but there are quite a few of them that I've seen in development and they're very exciting. You will love them when they come out. So yes, the answer is we currently already have some on our site, um, but there are more coming um, in time for fourth quarter. Uh, let's see, I can't wait to try paint by numbers. Yay, and diamond paintings. I agree, Kathy Gibbs, that's gonna be really awesome. Um, let's see, you're using your Arteza pencil now, Candy773, that's awesome. What are you drawing? Tell us, <laughs> what are you drawing? By the way, I wanted to tell you guys something. I was just looking at our sites uh, right before I got on the live stream and the Billie Eilish post that's on Instagram. Oh my God, you guys went crazy over that. You loved it. There, I think there's like over 16,000 likes. Um, for those that don't know, Billie is, uh, she's a songwriter that uh, wrote uh, Ocean Eyes, uh, you know, back in 2015, but uh, there was a post um, from uh, the Arteza family member of, of a group of artists. And you guys absolutely went nuts over it. By the way, you guys should totally take a look at Nicole S.V. Sanchez's uh, work that she just posted right before I hit the live button. Um, which is very Cinco de Mayo uh, themed and it's beautiful. And she said she was still working on it. It's a work in progress, but she was so excited about it that she wanted to post it and share it with the family. So anyway, I wanted to give a little shout out because the, the timing was perfect on all of that. Uh, let's see, one or two more questions and then I think we're we're gonna wrap. I've got the Everblend markers, 60 piece skin tone and watercolor pencils. Yay, all great products. Thank you, James. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, when am I going to get my orders that I have receipts for? Delta R. Nolan, make sure you send a note specifically to our customer service team and they should be able to track, uh, you know, that order for you. Okay. I'm awful at drawing vibe underscore draws. Don't worry. I am too, but that doesn't stop me from being a part of this Arteza community. So keep, keep coming back. I love real brush pens. Can you refill the pen brushes? Steph, can I refill the pen brushes, I believe that I can. I love this, I love technology. Yes, you are able to refill those pen brushes. 
Uh, any chance we can buy a loose white gel pen? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that one, but I'm going to write it down and we're going to make sure to send you a note on that one. White gel pen. I don't know if there's a loose white gel pen yet. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, any other questions? Are you doing a May challenge? Yes. That's actually how I'm going to wrap in just like two seconds. I was just making sure. Oh, Steph says for the real brush pen. No, we do not have a loose white gel pen yet. By the way, Steph Hibbert over here, guys, she's our uh, product tester and she is fabulous. And she's actually been on the uh, chat channels kind of helping to fill in with some of the answers, which I absolutely love. Thank you, Steph. Um, Okay. Oh, this is funny. Abstract Candy says, I've spent so much money on your supplies. I have an art gallery. I've been told to email you. Okay. Well, make sure you send us some information on that collaboration email and uh, maybe there's something that we can do. Okay. All right. So I think that's enough of the questions for now. Now let's just go to the final piece. Oh, actually, hold on. I don't think I did the share screen. Ooh, I think I didn't do that the first time. I think that's what you guys were telling me. You know what? I did not show the share screen before. So I want to make sure that my Facebook, my YouTube and my Switch family gets to see the slides. So I'm going to motor through them very quickly for you guys. I'm so sorry that I forgot to actually do the screen share. So this is this is the image that uh, is I think the most fantastic because it's where the Arteza team members and you guys, uh, our customers, um, have posted some really cool images as it relates to Cinco de Mayo. So here you go. There's Gretchen Riesta. This is Arteza official team and this is LSY. Okay, cool. And I got a little note that says, yes, we can see it. So thank you very much. Um, make sure you go to our blog on Arteza.com and you'll see uh, more of the information on those tips and tricks that we have for having your own uh, Cinco de Mayo party. Okay, so now here we go, guys. We're wrapping. So those of you that were willing to wait until the end, you waited for it and here it is. So in May, what we're going to have is May 8th, which is Thursday, uh, through Monday, May 11th, we're actually going to have a promotion. We're going to have 20% off of any purchase that's $79 or more. Um, and it is to celebrate moms. Yay. We're celebrating moms. I'm a mom of two and I'm very happy about the fact that we're celebrating. <laughs> okay. And so there's a 20% off. So look for that and make sure that when you use our products that you post your fabulous masterpieces to um, our hashtag Arteza at home. So here we go. So this is what's going to be really fun is that we're going to be very much focused on mom, uh, you know, during that Mother's Day weekend, if you will. And so we are really, um, you know, looking forward to being able to celebrate mom in all her glory uh, with, uh, with the Arteza family. Okay, so I'm going to go back here for a second and now I'm back. And so I think that's it, guys. This was awesome. I really enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys too did too. Hopefully you got some good information and a little bit of fun to be able to uh, vibe with the rest of your um, Arteza family, uh, you know, for the few minutes that we're together. Again, thank you so much. We appreciate your business. We really do. We're a small boutique company um, and um, every bit counts, every order that you place with us. Uh, you know, we greatly appreciate it. So keep loving Arteza and uh, keep sharing that work. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Bye.